What's up YouTube? Jeff your style OG. And on today's video, I've got my picks for the 10 best colognes for this fall. If you're new to the channel, we release a new video every day at 4 p.m. Eastern discussing various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating. I invite you to subscribe, tap that notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Martin Waring, salute. As we work our way into fall, it's time to transition into fragrances with a little bit more woodsiness, a little bit more warmth, maybe a little bit more spice. And in today's video, I've got 10 great fragrances to help you do just that. I've got ones that I've mentioned before and ones that haven't made the list in previous years. So without further delay, let's get into my picks for the 10 best fall colognes this year. And of course, I'm gonna have a link in the description to all the fragrances I talk about today if you wanna pick up a bottle or two for yourself. Now for my first pick, I got a fresh aquatic mineral woodsy scent that although it's good for fall, is light enough to be a transitional scent. As I have Joe Malone's Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Now to me, this is a great, fresh, sophisticated scent that a lot of people see as a unisex one, but I think it works well for guys. Has top notes of amber seeds, mid notes of sea salt, and base notes of sage. Like I said, to me, this is a great transitional scent. Warm enough for the fall, but light enough to still handle those warmer days. Make sure you pick up a bottle of that Joe Malone Wood Sage and Sea Salt. Now for our second pick, I have one that's definitely not transitional. It's a warm, leathery, tobacco type scent that the ladies love. I'm talking about Burberry London for men. Now to me, this is a sleeper hit and one that gets tons and tons of compliments. It has top notes of lavender, bergamot, and cinnamon, mid notes of mimosa and leather, and base notes of tobacco leaf and oak moss. This is for my fellas that really love a leathery, warm scent. And like I mentioned several times already, highly complimented. If you want a great cologne for those crisp fall nights? Definitely pick up a bottle of Burberry London. Now next up, I have a pick that's been a bestseller for the last few years, always on my fall list, and one of my ultimate favorites, an explosive, high power cologne, thus the name, Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb. This one, warm, spicy, and yes, explosive, with top notes of bergamot, grapefruit, and pink pear, mint notes of cinnamon, saffron, and chili pepper, and base notes of leather, tobacco, and vetiver. This one is powerful. This one is intense and super warm. And if you catch me in the fall, I'll probably be wearing this one. One of my all-time favorites, and maybe my personal favorite for the fall, Victor and Roth's Spice Bomb. Now next up on the list, I have a masculine sexy pick that's our first splurge choice on the list. I'm talking about Tom Ford's Oud Wood. This one, smoky and warm, and another one that the ladies love. It has top notes of rosewood and cardamom, mid notes of oud wood, sandalwood and vetiver, and base notes of tonka bean and amber. So how I best describe this one, spicy, warm, exotic, and highly complimented. A bit of a splurge, of course it's from Tom Ford, but I think it's worth the investment. It's from Tom Ford, oud wood. Now next up, I have a great pick that's sexy, intense, and a lot of guys say it's youthful, but I think it works well for all ages. I'm talking about Versace Eros. Now this one is a great combination of mint oil, lemon, cedarwood, vetiver, green apple, and vanilla. All coming together to give you an intense, bright cologne that has some warmth to it, and I think it works extremely well on date night. I highly recommend this one for the young and the young at heart. Now next up, I have a pick. That's one of my favorite fragrances over the last few years, along with Spice Bomb. And on top of that, to me, has the best bottle in the game. I'm talking about a great coffee and leather mix, Valentino Omo. Now this is a great, rich, smooth, sensual scent that combines notes of Italian bergamot, myrtle liquor, leather, and cedar wood. And like I said, it has a hint of coffee, but just the right touch of a leather scent. Smooth, cool, and rich, definitely one of the best colognes for the fall, Valentino Omo. And next up, I have a great woody oriental scent that's a great mix of tobacco leaf and vanilla. I'm talking about Mason Martin Margiela's Replica Jazz Club. This is an excellent choice if you want something strong but not overpowering. It's a mix of top notes of pink pepper, lemon and neroli oil, mid notes of rum absolute, sage oil and vetiver, and base notes of tobacco and vanilla bean. A great woody oriental scent with a hunting vanilla 
pick up a bottle of Mason Martin Margiela's Replica Jazz Club. Now next up, I have a pick that has to be on the list every year. Super popular, but for a reason. I'm talking about Dior Sauvage. This is a woody, aromatic, masculine scent that's very distinctive, even though a bunch of people wear it. It's a combination of top notes of bergamot, mid notes of pepper, and base notes of embrox. To me, this one is manly, woody, raw, and fresh. It's a top seller for a reason. A great masculine pick that's gonna work well this fall and every fall, Dior Sauvage. Next up, I have a fresh oriental scent that's bold, woody, and masculine. I'm talking about YSL's La Noite Delon. Now this one is warm, spicy, and woody, and to me, hands down, one of the best in the game. A great combination of cedar wood, lavender, vetiver, bergamot. To me, it's very bold, very warm, highly complimented, one I keep in my rotation year round, but especially in the fall, grab yourself a bottle of YSL La Noite Delon. And last, but certainly not least on my list of the 10 best colognes for this fall, I have another fragrance that's marketed as unisex, but I think it works well for men. I'm talking about Barreto's 11th Hour. Now this is a soft, warm, woody scent that's a combination of top notes of bergamot, mid notes of carrot seeds, rum, and wild fig, and base notes of tonka bean and cashmere woods. Now this is one to grab if you're something like myself. Warm, subtle, but smooth. Now just like the Tom Ford Oud Wood a couple of picks back, this is a splurge as well. Both of these come in at around 250 bucks. To me, I think it's worth the investment. This is one that you can wear this fall and every fall. Warm, smooth, and sexy, grab a bottle of Barreto, 11th hour. Okay, so there you have it. My picks for the 10 best colognes this fall. Let me know in the comment section, do you like any of these picks or one you recommend for the Stylogy family that you'll rock this fall? As always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, hit that like button. It helps the channel to grow. And of course, tap that notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos we release every day at 4 p.m. Eastern. And I'll check you out tomorrow.